Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Listen to what it says in verse 3. Paul writes, And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and much trembling. And my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. The weakness, fear, and trembling and the demonstration or the proof of the Spirit and power are in direct contrast to the lofty speech, the wisdom, and the plausible words that the world is trying to put forth. One is a product of the God of the world, and the other is from the gimmicks of men. Now, here's a major aspect of this that we must understand. I do not manufacture the weakness, fear, trembling, the proof of the Spirit, or the power. The weakness and the fear and all of that is born after I gaze upon this holy God. The demonstration of the Spirit and of power is produced in me and through me by God through my submission to His will and way. When I make the decision to walk this path, dying daily, I see my inadequacy. I know the majesty of God, the great need of the gospel in my life, and my immense need of Christ to do His work in me. To fear the Lord, to walk in this weakness, to tremble with awe at Christ and His work is the demonstration of the Spirit and power. And what exactly is that power? Well, every time power is mentioned in chapter 1 in this context, it's always in relationship to the message, the proclamation of the gospel. So Paul is not talking miracles here, except the miracle of the Spirit's conviction and conversion of a rebel soul through the bold, clear message of the cross. When I make the exclusive decision to know nothing but Christ, these characteristics and many more will be lived out of my life. So practically speaking, how do you parent without blowing up, yelling, or being completely indifferent? Well, you decide to know nothing but Christ and Him crucified. You die to your sense of entitlement to be angry, frustrated, or pampered. And you stand up and parent the way God designed in His strength, pouring over His Word on your knees and guiding your children in the paths of righteousness. And when you do that, your kids will see your weakness. But God tells Paul, My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Your kids will see that you fear the Lord above all things, including them and their friendship. They will see the demonstration of the Spirit and of power in your home. How do you share the gospel with your coworkers? You decide to know nothing but Christ and Him crucified, and you die to your pride, your reputation, your sense of wanting to be liked and well-known, and you walk through the doors and opportunities the Lord lays before you because nothing else has the power to save. When you pray today, please remember Danny Ballard and his family, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Cape Verdean Creole Life Word broadcast that's heard in Cape Verde.